Dogcom and uh, stage is yours. Uh, hello, uh, dear ladies and, gen and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the Bosch uh, Design in 60 Minutes uh, for Advanced Solutions uh, session. Uh, our goal in uh, this presentation is to show you the tools that we are creating, primarily for the designers and consultants to make their life, uh, how to say, easier and that they can do jo their job uh, you know, in a more, more professional way and uh, quicker. Uh, I don't know if you can see my first slide. Uh, today presenters are uh, uh, Mr. Florian Booker from uh, Bucharest. He will be presenting uh, BIM uh, platform and what Bosch can offer for the BIM users. Uh, Mr. Gabor Schuch uh, is from Budapest and uh, he is our pre-sales application design engineer for the video systems. And the uh, first presentation will come from me. I'm uh, Nino Balitsky and I'm in Bosch pre-sales engineer for Fire and PA systems. Uh, as you can see, we don't have too much time, but uh, thanks to our tools, you'll see that we have more than enough time to make even a big project uh, in this session. <clears throat> So let me first start with the fire tool. It's called Safety Systems Designer. Uh, with this tool, which is uh, totally free of charge, and you can download this from our website, uh, you can make really a very fast uh, configuration and design of a Bosch system and be uh, totally sure that uh, everything will work in field when the engineers start uh, installing the system and commissioning. Uh, Nino, yes. uh, Nino, sorry, the presentation is still not visible. Uh, please okay. try uh, resharing it again, uh, and we are going to give you the feedback whether is it visible. Ah, it's not visible. Okay, thanks. It's being loaded. I would like to ask colleagues, please feed us back shortly externally whether you can see it. Can you see it, Gabor? Um, not yet, not yet. Just a second, please. Just a second. Okay. So I'm in the office, so the internet speed is quite good, so it should work well. And I'm having information, it's loaded, so I don't know. Please wait a bit, still getting information from external. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you share the correct screen, you know? Uh, I have only one screen. Okay. So it must be this one. Still, they can see your image only. My, my from, your, from your camera, not the presentation. Just a I'm actually seeing the presentation. I don't know if this helps. But I'm seeing you can the, see the presentation. Yes, the first slide, the design in 60 minutes. For the yes, okay. Robert, can you see it? No, it's the second slide. Yeah. Yes. So, Robert, maybe it's on your side. Okay, I will check just a moment. Still not visible, as they say, my colleagues. I think we as panelists can see the presentation content, but externals does uh -huh. not see anything else. So asking to stop sharing and uh, and try sharing again, please. Okay. Nino, are you sharing this presentation at the moment? Uh, I just. Uh... 
unloaded it and actually in this moment i think i'm not uh, i cannot do anything uh my mistake i was sharing the file okay uh, okay so now we have to speed up uh, just to have some time for a real case uh, i suppose uh, you were able, were able to hear me so we are the presenters you can see here uh, for the safety systems designer uh, it's a quite good uh, free of charge tool that can uh, give you the fire design in uh, 30 minutes with which you can be fully sure it will be fully operational after the commissioning. Uh, it has several, uh, let's say, uh, parts inside. One is the system configuration with all the data about the panels, uh, loops and everything. The other one is the data outputs because you can have a lot of exports uh, from the software. And uh, the last one is also the system drawings. Uh, and in the future, you can also expect uh, possibility to import and export some uh, DVG drawings. Uh, so everything is going to the direction that you are using this uh, platform uh, as a base of the fire design. Uh, what are the benefits? Uh, the most important for the consultants is actually, I would say, faster planning because you can go to the meeting and you can very quickly show to the client uh, uh, what you, they see in the designing phase. And also for the designers, as I mentioned, a lot of uh, tools, uh, notes, uh, advices, and so on. Uh, we have been developing this tool for two years. Uh, you can go to the microsite of the safety systems designer to the Bosch uh, portal. Uh, after the installation, you are getting this screen for the registration. Uh, somebody of us, uh, for, foreign or I, am get, we are getting the registration email and you can start working in 15 minutes. Also very important thing within the window, as you will see in the example, uh, you are having direct links to the data sheets which are under uh, Bosch uh, project catalog, which means you don't have to lose time to collect all the documents that you have to provide uh, together with the main design. Uh, also for the integrators, there is a quite good option, I think, uh, which is called the uh, auxiliary power sources. Uh, so this is the export in which uh, installer can also see uh, what uh, to connect to which power supply for which conventional model. Uh, in the build of material view, uh, you can always see uh, what is going on uh, as you add uh, items to the design. Uh, these are the Bosch codes, so later uh, the sales guys can also take these Excels and uh, make the order uh, with the, all the components which are needed for the commissioning. Uh, so last year we added Serbian language, so at the moment from the SAR region, we have uh, Hungarian, Croatian, uh, Serbian, Romanian, Bulgarian, Greek. Uh, I think I didn't forget some, something else. And also we have some other languages from the round, of course, English, Italian, French, which means that if you are a designer or consultant, you also to some other country and uh, do your job. Uh, I will show you some phases of the development of the software. So first we added the networking part, which was always very complex due to N54 requirements on Bosch uh, side. So the software is automatically adding uh, everything which is needed to be fully compliant with N54. Uh, it's a small tab and when you jump to that, you see everything which is in the network. Uh, after that, we moved to version 1.3. We added a lot of uh, stuff uh, in this period. Uh, one of these was a wireless gateway. So we extended uh, last year our, our offering uh, with the wireless uh, subsystem. Also, we added a better loop uh, length calculation, which means that uh, you can really see uh, what is uh, going on on the field, what you can do with the cabling. And we started changing uh, some power calculations. Everybody who is working with Bosch knows that we are very on the safe side on every level always. So is that's like, like in uh, fire systems. Uh, so, but we started changing and adding some options that you can uh, decrease the 
number of the power supplies and the batteries, which is usually not needed in the region. A uh, very important thing is if you pick uh, the country Germany, uh, you're automatically switching to the uh, VDE uh, regulation, which means that whatever you are going to do in this software, it's uh, uh, fully following uh, German standards. So if some designer is hired to do some fire design for the Germany, the person can also be sure after this export that uh, it's according to the German standards. Uh, I will skip some parts, which I will show you in the present in the real case study. Uh, in the point uh, one point four uh, part, uh, which happened last year, uh, Aria Summit in Skopje, we added uh, this uh, new uh, in fifty four twenty three uh, sounder base with beacon. Uh, which is going to be released, I think, in next month into the sales. So you can already start uh, uh, designing this product as well with the safety systems designer. Uh, after that, we also added and uh, uh, fire brigade equipment also under the German uh, uh, country side, which is getting more and more important also for our region, I think, especially in Croatia and Serbia. There are some tendencies to go uh, to improve the fire brigade uh, uh, alarming, and uh, maybe you can also learn from this tool uh, how to do it. And finally, we also added uh, not only key deposits but uh, indicators which were missing in the first two years. Uh, from this year, uh, we jumped, of course, on the new LNR panel, so everything which is uh, added to the latest 2.1 version uh, is uh, fully uh, in accordance with the end of the life announcements of the FPA panel and uh, you're getting uh, warnings about the, the changes uh, like we don't have any more ADC cards uh, we also uh, are going to put uh, end of the life uh, some boards in several languages and uh, the software is giving you in information what is the new product. So. Also, we'll skip uh, this part. We added finally conventional model, which is in the panel side. So you can also do some, uh, replace some conventional sites with Bosch panel, of course. Uh, this is also very important. This uh, mark is a buffer which was adding several pairs of batteries uh, always to the design, which was according to the VDS regulation. If you remove it, finally, you can have less uh, power supplies in your system. It's uh, additional to the changes that we had last year. Uh, and very important thing is, I, th I think, uh, product availability. So you are getting information as soon as you open the safety systems designer, uh, what is the status of the products. Uh, so, for example, this one is end of life, which means that you cannot use it and you have to pick another device uh, in the system. For example, this uh, linear heat detector has a limited stock, so probably will uh, end of life that uh, also. And this product is still not available, but it's coming soon. Uh, I will uh, now show you also some uh, tools that we have for the PA part. And after that, we will jump to the uh, fire uh, design in the SSD. So for the PA, I would uh, recommend that you download the loudspeaker selection app. It's a very excellent uh, free of charge tool for iOS and also for Android platforms, you can you have a filters inside, and you can quite easily uh, select uh, the best uh, speaker for your application. Also, we are having some other uh, apps, for example, Decentis and uh, Decentis Wireless Sales app, which is giving you information about the products that what you can do with the features, and uh, the same with for the point metrics. Uh, we have some range of the Excel-based uh, calculators. Uh, the latest one uh, is uh, the Presenza. So if you would need any help or you, if you need these tools, you can contact us or you can check uh, our product catalog. 
uh, also for the descent is wireless, which is coming more and more into the use because of these uh, changes, uh, remote meetings and so on. So you can also check out the census wireless tool, which can help you to design quickly the system, which can be connected to the uh, Zoom or Skype or any other platform and make a better uh, meeting feeling, let's say. Uh, let's jump to the search system designer directly. So I will just make one short example. Uh, and uh, of course, you can contact us uh, anytime and we can help you directly on meetings one to one. Uh, so this is the starting screen. Uh, if you go to the options, you can always set what are your default settings of your software. What is the default uh, cable uh, buffer, but everything can be changed uh, later during your work. Uh, in the country area, as I mentioned, if you pick, for example, Germany, uh, you are getting an additional mark, which means that whatever you do in the software from uh, onward, from this and onward, it's uh, uh, fully uh, VDE uh, based and uh, regulated, and also it's quite close to the VDS. Uh, I will go back to Croatia. So if you open the new project, you can see the starting screen. Uh, whatever is blue in the right side, uh, you are getting information on the left side about this uh, product and these options. Uh, here I can change, for example, if I want, I can go to the 32 loop uh, panel 8000 series. Uh, if I press plus, I can add some new models, uh, for example, sounder control model. So whatever uh, is blue, it's active. Uh, I can mark this uh, uh, notification plan zone model one uh, with a plus and I can add sounders. Uh, if I would add something, do something which is not possible technically, in the lower part, we are always getting these informations. Yeah, it can be, of course, the overload because of the a lack of the power or maybe some uh, system limits or some uh, other technical uh, limits. So I still have this, so I have to put, for example, five. Uh, in the right side, you can always see what is the maximum of uh, for that unit on the system level, on the panel level, on the model level. And uh, the column here, which is second to the right, you can see what is actually in the system. So I can start adding uh, to the loop some items, let's say uh, 50 detectors. We can add also remote indicators. Let's say it's a 10. After that, I can go to plus, I can add some thermal detector. For the lobby, I can add maybe ultra flat design uh, Bosch detector. Uh, in the manual call points, we can also add some manual call points. Uh, here on the lower part, you have all the accessories which are related to this product. So we can also add uh, spare items. Uh, in the build of material list here, uh, this is a bomb and it's uh, automatically uh, filled with everything which was added uh, in this, uh, let's say, uh, working uh, dashboard part including all the models which are in the Bosch modular panel, which usually it's uh, hard to count the rails, the cables, everything is calculated automatically with this software. Uh, we can add something else. For example, we can add uh, input output models, create real outputs, I can say how many I'm using, let's say four. And also we can add the expression detector. Uh, for some elements like expression detector, we can pick uh, in the lower part what is the power supply output. We can use the panel or, or we can say it's external power supply unit. As you can see here, uh, as soon as I change to the external power supply unit, uh, we received another box on the wall. Uh, you can use uh, control C, control V. So I will just add several loops at the same time. So this is another note for the N54 uh, requirement. Uh, then I can jump 
back to the panel. If it's a two towers, I can copy the first tower and make the second panel with the same content and later change uh, some items inside. In the networking part, you can choose uh, the type of the networking. If I go with uh, Ethernet, with the fiber optics, I will get additional models which are needed for this task. Also, now we can add some uh, items like uh, BMS here. We can add uh, remote uh, services router. And still, everything is in the build of material list. Uh, in this part, you can see some templates which are giving you uh, some, let's say, uh, design regulated stuff like uh, loops parameters. This is the list of all loops, the loads, cable resistance, possible uh, loop length uh, with this load. Uh, if you are using AUX supply, uh, what is uh, that value? Uh, also, I'm here using panel batteries. So for the panel one and panel two now we have the same. Of course, we would have different type. We can change uh, standby time to more common 72 hours. And we can export. Uh, here you can export in all the languages which are supported. I will use English. So this is the example of how it looks like. This is just uh, the export that you can copy paste to your design and you're done. Uh, also in the build of materials list, as you can see here, we can choose the category or the panel. If we go by the panel, that means that if I export this specification, I can see two different uh, specification in one Excel related to the panel one or to the panel uh, two. Or if I go to the category, I can see the sum of everything which is in the design. So the sales guys can then uh, copy uh, D column and the quantity column uh, to Bosch order in form, and they can already see what is the recommended price of this project. Uh, also here we have tender text. We left all the Bosch uh, product namings, uh, which is required usually for the public uh, tenders. So you can also now change to some other language. Let's go to, I don't know, we can go to uh, Hungarian. This is automatically changed to Hungarian, and we can export this in Word. So all the elements which are now in the project, in the project are here. At the end, we have the JPEG export. Uh, you can export the tree view uh, list. Also, you can pick the language here. This is in Croatia now. Or we you can show the networking view. Again, you can export this picture. And you can just copy paste this picture to your design and also the networking part of the design is done. So in 15 minutes, we managed to prepare a full specification, which is uh, fully operational. Uh, you can always control it uh, in this part here. What is the uh, potential, uh, potential uh, loop length according to the cable diameter and to the load. This is the load, this is the number of the elements. If you want to change something, you can always go back. For example, I can use uh, the ticker cable 1.5 and you can do some other uh, changes. Then I can make save as, I can put it as a uh, version two. <coughs> So I can send this file to anybody that can start working or continue working on its project. I think we are uh, out of the time for the uh, safety part. Of course, you can contact me or Florian Booker for the safety systems uh, whenever you need. I would like to move uh, to give a 
uh, forward to the code folder, I will show you the BIM options. Corinne, I think you can take over. Okay, thank you, Nino. Thank you for the nice introduction. Good afternoon from my side. I'm um, my name is Florin Bukur. I'm um, application designer for EMEA in Bosch. Um, I will uh, talk to you about uh, BIM for uh, this afternoon. I hope everything gets uh, visible on uh, my presentation. Thank you. It's visible, Florin. Okay. Thank you. Great. So, um, what is BIM? Um, BIM or uh, building information modeling is the whole process uh, that allows allow us to to do the planning, construction, and management throughout the whole life cycle of uh, of a construction of a building. So, um, BIM is not a uh, software. BIM is not a model. It's not a three D model. It's the entire process because. It allows us to go through all the phases from the uh, planning throughout the, uh, I don't know, logistic management of the of a live building of a live project. <clears throat> so uh, why we are, why it's uh, been important uh, and how are the challenges now in the industry? Of course, uh, there is uh, data that is traveling. Um, through, uh, let's say, from uh, one stakeholder to another, to the whole complete process of this de design and uh, management of the building. Uh, sometimes this data is incomplete. Sometimes uh, not everything reaches the right stakeholders. So, uh, from our estimation, there is a lot. Uh, there is about 20% increased cost due to these, all these obstacles and miscommunication that happens throughout this cycle of designing and planning. So BIM, it's uh, coming to meet this, uh, this and actually be the common platform, the center point where all the stakeholders can, uh, can actually communicate and share uh, data about um, this project. Um, what are the benefits of BIM? Of course, we can, um, uh, first of all, we can have, a, let's say, um, reliable, a reliable budget planning and we can optimize the costs during this uh, uh, faster project completion, and of course, we can detect uh, conflicts in this in the situations that can appear in the um, in the construction site. Uh, for example, we can see that the pipe is crossing um, a beam or uh, another element of the construction that could not actually be possible in reality. So, having all the systems, all the construction elements of the building inside one file actually can. Uh, um, can uh, result in this checking of uh, conflicts and uh, other mishaps that can happen during the uh, planning and the construction of the uh, of the targeted building. Um, of course, uh, that could also uh, actually happen that uh, fewer accidents can happen during the construction phase. So, what is the uh, software landscape for BIM? Uh, that several softwares and platforms available that could actually help us in this project. Of course, we have the modeling programs. Um, one of the most popular in our, in our region is Autodesk Revit that we can use. And this is also what I will uh, share with you in a minute um, uh, in a practical example of a project. But of course, there are other softwares like uh, Archicad or Bentley. Um, then again, we have the databases or libraries of objects that uh, can provide us with family for um, for the objects we use inside the inside the modeling. Um, one of the most popular, of course, is BIM object. We, uh, as Bosch, were um, also present in this uh, BIM object library, but uh, we decided uh, that we're going to host um, for ourselves the the objects that we can provide. I will come to that. Uh, bit in a minute. Then we have uh, different other libraries. There are a lot of them. Uh, for example, uh, NBS, um, National Beam Library in UK, or uh, MAP in the Netherlands, and so on. And again, we have processing tools, the third category of softwares that are uh, quite many on the market and help us with different tasks like um, what I was uh, uh, telling earlier about, for example, collision detection inside the model, 
or different other specific tasks. Why to use BIM in security and safety? First of all, there are territories all around the world where it's uh, mandatory to use BIM and um, uh, generally in the public projects, but not uh, only. Uh, this is a very dynamic, uh, let's say, environment and more and more territories are already adhering to, this, um, uh, to these regulations to use BIM as a standard for uh, let's say the design phase, at least in uh, in the new projects. So uh, this also would be very interesting. Uh, maybe in the late uh, in in the end, when we have the question and answer um, session, maybe you also can give us some feedback on what is the situation in your country, how this uh, um, changing, or what is your knowledge about this uh, these regulations. What can Bosch deliver in the BIM context? And this is um, actually where we uh, come uh, to meet uh, your needs related to BIM. First of all, we have a Bosch BIM website that um, uh, you can find. It's a public website, of course. Uh, when you go to BoschSecurity.com, uh, you will uh, find in the support uh, tools you have a BIM micro website where you can actually see all the Revit files that we have available. Uh, the website itself, it's in 12 languages, but the files are only in English. So you have all the categories there for all the types of, uh, let's say, uh, systems um, where you download families for, uh, like uh, security video, of course, uh, intrusion, access control, uh, fire detection systems, and uh, uh, public address. So they are structured in this uh, this uh, way, and uh, you can actually download them for free uh, there. Uh, the other way is if you go to our public product catalog. Um, whenever a product has a Revit file available, you will see that um, and that uh, beam icon. So you will find it in the product page, and that means that in the download section you'll find the Revit file available for download. So we can actually download for each product from the catalog page. Moving on, um, let's see uh, what we can actually do with this. And I, um, I used the video business unit with the video surveillance as, an, as a use case. So you can see right here in model, uh, of a building where we place the camera and you can actually see the field of view of the camera. I will go through this uh, in a minute in practice just so we can um, so we can make a practical example. And also you can actually generate from the 2D view to the 3D view and actually a 3D projection of um, what, you, what the camera actually will see in the field of view. So, um, yeah, this is uh, one more thing that I want to show. This is what you can actually generate with just one um, click from, from uh, Revit. You can generate a so-called schedule, it's called, but it's more, uh, let's say, in uh, easier terms, it's like a bill of materials that you can, uh, you can get with all the parameters and all the quantities of the objects, of the beam objects that you placed in the uh, in this uh, specific project. So you can generate this, and this is, of course, the next step from moving uh, from the 3D planning to the next um, maturity levels of uh, using beams like 4D, which includes the timeline, or 5D, 12D operating, uh, and live data from the project. So um, this is, um, yeah, this is for short uh, my presentation, and uh, now I would like to uh, actually try to uh, move to, to a practical example. Uh, if I can stop sharing the screen, maybe. Okay, 
So we have here a live example for a building project. It's a, just a it's just a mock-up project, of course, um, and we can uh, actually see. I will try to start with a top-down view. We place the camera and we see the field of view for this camera in this uh, um, in this example. Of course, you can generate, for example, floor plans. Uh, you can actually do the design in 2D, but um, more interesting is that you can actually see it in 3D. You can see how this camera that we have here, we can select it. Uh, it's it's uh, projecting its field of view on the model. So basically, um, what we see now, it's a so-called Dory field of view. So basically, you have the labels, label, um, levels of uh, identification. Um, that uh, camera can see. You can uh, en enable it or disable it, of course. Um, and we have a so-called manual field of view that you can actually see, which is based on the, uh, let's say, uh, manual resolution that can, you can input. In my case, it's, for example, 250 pixels per meter, but you, of course, can change it. You can, uh, for example, if the uh, desired it is 500 pixel per meter, then you can um, show the field of view for uh, this resolution. Um, yeah, so this is uh, depending on what, what you want to actually see with the camera. Of course, you can pan, tilt camera, you can adjust the height, everything that you can do in the planning tool. But what I want to um, show you in the, uh, let's say in the end, it's uh, another feature that it's done uh, let's say not for all the cameras now, but the plan is to implement it for all the cameras in uh, Bosch portfolio, um, is this um, 3D view generator, um, which you can use, um, you can activate it, you can select one camera, and from that you can actually generate the 3D view of what this camera will see. Of course, you can change the uh, rendering mode from, uh, from a simple sketch to uh, realistic uh, rendering of this and this way you can make sure that uh, yeah the placement of the camera it's what you can actually seek in reality in your project um, yeah all, all this information can be saved of course and uh, when you pass the project to uh, somebody else it's going to contain everything that you generated so that's uh, yeah from my side a small introduction let's say uh, on the beam world and um, if you have any any questions or the, if you need guidance towards this, uh, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are more than happy to uh, guide you throughout, uh, let's say, designing and uh, designing with uh, BIM objects provided by Bosch. Thanks a lot. And uh, I will pass now the uh, stage to Gabor to continue. Thank you. Thank you very much, Florin and uh, welcome from uh, for everybody uh, this is Gabor Switch. Uh, I'm also solution consultant and uh, as we have uh, divided uh, our content uh, I'm going to uh, share with you uh, some information on uh, on uh, video tools let's say so that's the that's the main uh, target so actually uh, Please just shortly feed me back, Florin, whether my presentation is visible. Yes, it's visible. Okay, thank you so much. So, uh, generally, uh, as we have shared the uh, content or the information, uh, we split the infos uh, with, uh, by BUs, let's say. And uh, we started with uh, the specific tool uh, from uh, safety perspective, uh, the designer tool itself. Uh, then we lead uh, to the security and safety field uh, with beam objects. And right now we are landing again uh, to the security uh, territory, let's say, and concentrating on uh, the video part. Uh, I would like to split the presentation to two main uh, parts uh, as well within a video also, which is specifically contains some infos on, on how to select, how to handle our products and the main features uh, included. 
and also at the end of my presentation, I would like to generally speak again a bit deeper on learning management uh, system uh, in which uh, the previous presentation uh, from uh, my colleague uh, Kosho Karu Lawrence you has already uh, mentioned. So this is roughly within the upcoming uh, 15 uh, minutes and, uh, and we would like to also keep some time at the end to have some uh, questions and answers. So, if generally we need to talk about the video tools and let's say uh, design guidelines, uh, we can say that the most important part at the very beginning, uh, how to be familiar within our uh, video product portfolio, how to get access to the most important features uh, from our cameras, recorders or system uh, features generally. Uh, and as soon as uh, it is done, how we can get closer uh, to the specific uh, parts of it. Good news that uh, by now our web page contains a unified uh, part for all the apps and tools. So as soon as you would like to get access or to be closer uh, to all such details which gives you a helping hand in your daily work, please visit our website and under the support tab you will find the gather uh, apps and tools part which uh, gives you the indication uh, what are the latest available uh, online uh, uh, portfolio. So, just simply jumping on that, uh, as I mentioned, I will start uh, with the video parts. Uh, I won't have enough time to uh, be detailed in every respect uh, from these, uh, uh, pro these tools. But first of all, I would like to uh, redirect your attention to the product selector itself. And not just basically on the product selection itself, uh, but giving you the indication uh, how we can use it very practically on our everyday uh, job. So, as soon as you would like to check, for example, the Bosch cameras, you see that recently we have more than 100 models available from different aspects. It's not an easy job uh, to start planning with uh, so many models. So we have the ability to categorize the models first if we are uh, targeting or approaching the solution from the feature set perspective. Or the other option, what we very frequently meet from end users perspective or from system integrators perspective, that they would like to see exactly compared uh, technical features from dedicated models. So uh, it's hard to explain sometimes what are the main differences if we select, for example, two different kind of flexidoms or uh, two different type of cameras at all. Um, but it gives you an indication that if you are familiar with the features but you would like to make it somehow plastic with the simple uh, compare uh, functionality, we can very uh, easily get closer uh, to the specific feature set uh, for a, a dedicated camera or uh, doing a comparison uh, of pre-selected models and with a single click creating a PDF on that. Small piece of tool, I know, but very useful in the daily job, getting familiar with the models and making such a type of comparison. Um, please use it uh, and, uh, and, uh, and be familiar uh, where to find, let's say. The second option, uh, what we can show here uh, is let's say uh, the, the IP recording option. So similar uh, to the cameras, uh, as soon as we are talking about the recording solutions, uh, we have so many different type of models where, again, the most important remark, uh, how to highlight the most important advantages, what to show, what would be the main uh, feature set. What I've mentioned uh, during the, the cameras option, this is this is fully true here as well. So you can compare uh, these type of models as well or make uh, a, a feature-based uh, analysis or, or do uh, such kind of uh, comparison uh, uh, easily. So that's it about mainly uh, the uh, product selector uh, part or uh, the camera and uh, recorder uh, selections. And let's go back again to the, um, to the tools, what else we can find here. Uh, 
The product overview and the accessory guide I would skip. Uh, I think it's it's uh, obvious what to use from this perspective, uh, but uh, let's uh, spend some time on uh, video analytics example tool. BIM, I think, was a good platform uh, to lead our attention, not that not just specifically to the camera models as well, but uh, as, as Florin has mentioned already, uh, containing such DORI criteria uh, from the uh, from the covered uh, uh, area, from detection up to the identification, uh, and I will spend some time on this DORI. What does it mean uh, in in reality? But very closely to the uh, angle of view or the visibility. Uh, we got to point here uh, the most important features of our cameras, which is video analytics itself. Uh, video analytics is available in the entire Bosch camera portfolio. We don't have any model by now which would, which would not contain uh, Ascension analytics or intelligent uh, video analytics. Uh, and uh, beside the functionality that we that we are talking about, it's also important to make it somehow plastic. What kind of functions you can find uh, within analytics, and this kind of tool is giving you a helping hand on how to demonstrate it. So it's a downloadable option uh, with video analytics uh, uh, part, and as soon as you start it gives you an indication and leads you through all the available features uh, of the analytics. Uh, but from the functionality perspective, uh, for example, no parking zones, what does it mean from camera uh, perspective? Giving you a short uh, intro in, in a video, how the camera angle of view look like, what kind of, uh, of um, uh, areas you can uh, nominate, how the alarms uh, are generated, or what uh, kind of uh, loitering functions uh, we have in our camera, what does it mean uh, from an uh, alarming perspective, and the same functionality like left of the detection or uh, people counting, every single part is demonstrated by a, a short video as well, which gives you the indication uh, and, and the visibility. Uh, Perimeter protection is another topic uh, in which this tool is leading you uh, through, but you can find also um, uh, uh, line crossing options within, let's say, large areas uh, like uh, stocks. Uh, we can dedicate uh, intelligent tracking functionalities, and if you check all such details, even the uh, the machine learning based uh, functionality is demonstrated uh, by our cameras. For example, uh, how to check, uh, for example, occupancy in the uh, parking lots and uh, the object detections are on a very uh, higher end was level, or even how to learn uh, to the camera different states of uh, static objects, like uh, within this video, a closed state uh, of a barrier. So, if you would like to see more about the video uh, analytics, uh, please use such a kind of tool as well, uh, sorry, and uh, this way uh, you will be able to, to demonstrate uh, uh, this uh, functionality uh, also. The second main part of our tools online are the calculation tools. Um, I won't have so much time to demonstrate them one by one, but let me select one of them which is closely related to the uh, video content uh, analysis and, uh, and refers to the uh, previously mentioned uh, feature, which is called this Video Analytics and Lens Calculator tool. What does it mean and what's the main benefit of using such type of tool? If we have the selected camera model to be used, if we know that what kind of specific feature from video content analysis we would like to uh, implement, then this kind of tool gives you the indication that on the specific installation area, uh, what will be the probability of your detection, what kind of distances you will be successfully uh, implementing video content analytics, and what are the actual limitations. It does not do more than 
giving you the option selecting uh, specific cameras, whether it's fixed or auto dome, whatever. Uh, as soon as you uh, select it, you are able to check also what type of lens you have, what will be the target object to be uh, checked, and what are the settings like uh, camera installation height and, uh, and resolutional uh, conditions. Calculation gives you the result, uh, a side view and a top view result. Uh, what will be the angle of view and what will be the rough uh, distances? And also from video analytics perspective, the active, inactive areas and the exact values below. What will be the distance to be checked from this height, uh, minimum, maximum detection uh, range and the probability of detection uh, from this uh, perspective? And the DORI criteria here again with explanation that from detection up to identification, what will be the distances and what will be the, the pixels per meter to be uh, checked by the cameras to fulfill these requirements. So please use it uh, as one global available um, uh, possibility uh, from product selection up to the feature selection to the exact uh, calculation itself. Hopefully it will give you the right indication what and, and, uh, and where to use, let's say. The last part, uh, within the last few minutes, I would like to redirect that your attention beyond the tools on our own uh, training academy. Why is it important? Um, of course, it's important to know how to touch our system components, the models, the feature sets and calculation itself. But as we are uh, a manufacturer where from complete systems you can buy and install and implement, the system topology and the entire complex uh, topic behind and the concept uh, of a system working could not work without a deep technical knowledge, not just on product or feature level, but on the entire system level. That's why we have our own Bosch Security and Safety Academy, on which I would like to give you a very short overview, but uh, uh, hopefully a good indication to, uh, to uh, redirect your attention. This is our platform. Is an, it, this platform is an online platform, but we use uh, for trainings and fell and also for certifications. Uh, we are going to come back to this topic uh, later. What does exact certifications mean and what kind of levels we have? Important that uh, especially during these actual COVID uh, crisis, we have all the online trainings available on that. So not just only the certification itself, but any kind of uh, practical knowledge that you would like to get uh, in terms of, um, of functionalities uh, or, or deeper technical part, you will find uh, thousands of uploaded content that you can start and learn anytime. As soon as we are talking about classroom trainings as well, this is the platform on which you can assign for such uh, trainings. And via the skills or certificates, you will have uh, uh, the dedicated um, uh, courses and skills available. What kind of certification levels we have? Uh, during the entire scope of, of Bosch security and safety systems. We have three main uh, certification levels. The lowest level is the professional one. Uh, this is mainly covering online courses, which is the entry level course, let's say, and, uh, and we would like to redirect also uh, commercial colleagues' attention to that. The second is the expert level training, which is combining the online and the classroom trainings, uh, which gives you also uh, and already system level competencies. And the highest possible uh, skill to be reached from a system perspective is master. So these three levels are building next to each. The prerequisites to fulfill one is always having a a previous version uh, completed and as you can see from the indication it combines the online trainings the classroom trainings and the issued certificates 
So you will find what type of uh, of groups uh, we we warmly uh, uh, let's say suggest to be participated. Uh, expert mainly for for so sorry professional is for the beside the system integrator distributors uh, we recommend for uh, consultants and and uh, let's say commercial colleagues as well expert and master are mainly for the technical uh, uh, technical staff of a dedicated uh, company so please use beside every single training type you will see an exact uh, learning path, how to go through on that, what kind of modules are uh, implemented, and then what's the way of reaching the required skill you need. So, the end is getting a certification, which always uh, an e-certification, and uh, within your profile it will be available, uploaded uh, for your convenience available, and it's always dedicated and remarked with a QR code, which is a unique one, and gives the indication of its validity and availability of, of uh, your, let's say, valuable skill. The site itself, as I mentioned, online, you can reach it on this uh, uh, link academy.globalteach.com and uh, you will find specific contents please freely register contact us if you need anything and we will let you get access to this specific content inside so that's all uh, from my side regarding the uh, video tools uh, just such rough estimated uh, short overview and uh, and even the learning management system uh, from my side, uh, I think I can say with all of the, my colleagues' name as well that thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any question, please just uh, let us know uh, to be able to answer that. Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Adis. Here we are. We can hear you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you once again. Thank you for your participation and a very good presentation. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Maureen. Uh, if anyone has any question, please be free to provide us, or you can uh, meet Maureen, Nina, and uh, Gabor today or tomorrow on a security summit, the job event, and you have option to request a meeting. Today. Exactly. Nice. So if we don't have any question, uh, we have to go forward. Thanks again and uh, stay with us. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye. Enjoy Saturday, guys. Bye. bye. bye.